Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 25. We're going to be looking at drawing different shapes today, and this will be the first part in a couple of episodes, and uh, it's a little simple, so we'll go ahead and just dive right in. Uh, first of all, just look at the vertex shader here. You can see we're just taking the A position attribute in, uh, like we did the last episode. Uh, vertex, or the fragment shader, excuse me, will, will just be displaying the color white. And so now if we go ahead and look in our index, uh, nothing out of the ordinary here in our initialization of the uh, application here. And we have our normal mouse down event where we take the UI utils and convert the input to GL coordinates, adding it to our points array as before and drawing. But then draw, we're going to have this new init buffers. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what that does real quick. Basically, we're taking the points array and converting that to, with the float32 array to the vertices. We're going to divide it by 2 because we're still in two-dimensional space here to get the proper number in. So rather than manually setting it as we had previously done after passing in uh, either hard-coded uh, points or whatnot, uh, we are now con uh, calculating this on the fly, which makes things a lot better. Next up, we're going to have our usual create buffer and our uh, vertex buffer with our vertices here. And we're going to go ahead and grab that A position attribute, enable it, and then uh, throw the pointer on there. So now if we look, we're going to look at each of these, but you should know what each of these do already based off pre previous episodes, but we can just take a look now. So if we have lines, um, let's go ahead and refresh that. You can see that all it does is it takes two positions and it just draws each line as it is. You should be able to know what each of these do, but we'll just draw them out anyway. Oops, I guess I have to uncomment this. All right, so here's the line strip. We go ahead and do line loop. Refreshing. So that's what the line loop looks like. We go ahead and do triangles. You can see that we have triangles. Go ahead and do triangle fan. And finally, triangle strip. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw today, um, you can feel free to subscribe. Uh, you can like the video. You can um, go ahead and share on social media if you will. You could also go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Um, just to throw out one more thing, you can also do multiple of these at a time. So if I actually went ahead and left lines and triangles on, you'll get some interesting results here. So you can do really interesting things, but you have to remember that the points are for every two. So if we did those, that's a little different than if we had done a triangles and triangle fan or whatever. So. Play around with that too, and you can throw points on here as well, so you can see points before you... Anyway, that's it. Have a good one. Talk to you guys all later.